Hello, my beautiful Leo Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your July 1st through 31st, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Remember, if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the cards have to say for you, my Leos, in this July energy. Oh, well, we've got the Emperor and the World. Pretty good start, I'd say. Both Major Arcanas. This one is the Aries Major Arcana. It is the energy of coming full circle. The World card is the energy of being a champion. Over the top, out of this world, in the energy of accelerated, lifting up into a higher position, into a victory, into empowerment. And both of these are equally in that energy. But this one is all about the completion of something that brings it to full fruition. So, very great start with the Emperor and the World. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, stand your ground and don't settle for less than you deserve. The Seven of Wands is here, showing you that you have the capability to stand in your power even when others doubt you, don't let them convince you that you're not worthy of this. You are, you've worked hard for it, and here it comes. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So you saw me pause and look at that card. It's because I was making sure I wasn't putting it in upside down. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so it's time to let go of what no longer has any need for you to pay attention to it. This does not have to be babysat anymore. This is something that you have brought to a point of completion and you can now move forward in a whole new endeavor. So it's not something that you need to worry about or, or lose any sleep over. It was a natural process that happens here with that three of rods. There's your world card still showing up so you know it's, it's affirming. It was meant to be there. It, it did it on purpose. Moving in the right direction as you bring your energy of movement in this victory that started here. The uplifting higher position, the energy of moving forward using the divine guidance. And it means you are moving in the right direction. The Six of Swords is that energy. An offer coming in, the Four of Cups. Don't, uh, don't turn away from it right away. If it, even if it seems funky, look at it closely before you say no. That's a blessing in disguise. You have clarity. That's a good thing to have. It's in the energy of your personal life, your household energy, what you're doing with your future here. It is a gift because it is an ace. All aces are gifts from divine, and this one is releasing you from any entanglements, anything that's been kind of covering your ability to see to the future. All of that's being lifted, and you can now see what direction to go. And you've got the Two of Wands, which was the card that stood itself up, by the way. This is the card here that I was looking at. So Two of Rods is the energy of moving forward. And it means whichever way you decide to go, whichever variation, it's still moving forward. So they're running parallel and you don't have to worry about a wrong choice. You just have to make sure you make a choice. And use the one that's in your heart. You've got the Queen of Swords. This is being able to interview very well if you're doing a job interview. It's also air sign energy, so Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini major arcanas. It does mean you are attuned and connected. So when you do have to speak of something or in, in some larger capacity, you will be able to stand in your power and do so. And the Queen of Cups is saying she's ready to move forward and you're in this energy of a little bit of butterflies in your stomach, a little bit of nervousness, but the clouds are parting and you're actually able to see and move forward. So love that. Hello, Emperor. 
So if you are self-employed, this is the power energy that you want to be in because this is where you're standing in your strength and you're in a place of all things being developed to the point where you can actually be empowered by it. Keep your nose pointed in the direction of your goals and dreams. Do not turn your head. You're still in the energy of building the momentum. Two of Pentacles. Again, do not settle for less than you deserve. And make sure that you stand your ground here. Don't let other people talk you out of what, what their issue. You know, this is your thing. You're being called to do something. Don't let other people's fear of it stop you. Here's your financial security and money in the bank. So four of pentacles is always welcome, especially in the career and finance area. So there's nothing to fear there. And here's the near future. It feels like you've been going and going and going and the Energizer Bunny and needs new batteries, but it's okay because you're at the cusp of a breakthrough. That nine of rods means any second you're gonna be pushed forward or called forward. While you're in the waiting, Allow yourself to recover. This is the energy of exhaustion. So let yourself recover, restore, rejuvenate, and be in a place where you are now feeling the energy of all that you need to be able to move in that energy of creation. Because if you're in this low vibe, you've just come out of this. So you want to let yourself recover. And you're still in that. Show me the money is, is the phrase for this card. This is where it's developing on the quantum level. And you can't see it yet. So you have to be in faith and know that it is coming. Because it will do it all by itself. It doesn't need you to do anything. There's nothing you can do to make it happen faster. It's already being worked on by the universe. So it's like your pizza is in the oven. It just hasn't made it around to the other side. Keep manifesting. Here's the magician. It's saying you have the power to keep your focus. And when you do, you start to create what you're trying to build. And everything else falls in line when you're in alignment with yourself. Which means, don't overthink it, my Leo friends. <laughs> this is the moment where we start trying to figure ways that it could work and we could make it happen. But that's not going to work for you here because it can't happen faster than it's ready. You're going to just spin yourself out and, and send yourself on a, on a wild goose chase here. Be still. Like I said, the pizza's in the oven. Give it a chance to get, get in the place where you can eat it without it being all doughy and yucky. So, don't know why I referenced uh, referenced uh, pizza, but <laughs> maybe I'm craving it. So, <clears throat> here we go. Sorry, I've got a little something going on with the, my, my voice. <clears throat> Try that. I'm starting a car here. <laughs> so, here's the Page of Swords, and this is the Illumination. He's coming in to give you whatever information you need to assist you and help guide you forward. He's illuminating the situation. Yay team. Let's see what else we have. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. All right. We have some volunteers. This is where you're battle fatigue. This is where you're just like, I do not want to pick this sword up and have to go swing it in any direction. I'm exhausted. I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. Don't quit now because you're in the place where you've won the battle. You just don't, you can't see it yet. Just hang in there because you don't want to quit five minutes before you get that moment of victory. Five means change. It means you're in the process of it. You also have the five down there. Get in a place of meditation. That will put you in a place of higher self. Allow your mind to be illuminated by the connection to source. And as you intentionally put yourself in the vibration of meditation every day, it does allow the open energy to help guide you. Every step you take needs to be thoroughly thought out 
and paid attention to. Don't put any pieces just a slap dash way. You want to be able to place them intentionally. Every single move you make, every thought you, you think, everything that needs to be in alignment with what you're trying to create. You can create double for your trouble of doing that, but if you take shortcuts and cut corners, the value loses itself here in that and you won't receive what you what you put in. Yay team, the offer comes through and the Ten of Swords releases the feeling of panic and fear and doubt. It clears the way for whatever you've been feeling like you've just, it's not been working. <clears throat> the target's off your back. You're out from under the feeling of being under attack and, and, and it's a release energy. So the Ten is the clearing of the storm. It has passed. And you have the Ace of Swords, which is clarity, and the Ace of Rods. So this is taking root. The sun is beaming from behind the clouds and burning them away. So you now have a clear way forward with both of those two Aces that are gifts from Divine. High Priestess energy, moving forward in whatever your highest energy guides you to do here on that choice between the two positions of that Two of Rods. They both come out the same, but the journey matters. <laughs> The Scorpio Death card clearing the slate. The Cosmic Garbage Man comes in to take out the trash. And a brand new beginning comes in with that little flower that's on the flag. So it's literally wiping the slate clean and giving you a fresh new start. And there's the contract. If you've been waiting for the document, here it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever this is, official document, paperwork, there it is. We have the five of rods, which is where you're in a place where you're kind of having some competition, right? But you know that you're in the emperor's position and you have help. So don't worry about that. Don't let it, don't focus on it. And there you are in your Leo strength, my beautiful Leo friends with the two of pentacles. Very solid energy saying you are being guided and guarded as you move forward. And here comes the ace of pentacles. The abundance is coming in. So whatever your new beginning in the flow of income is here to stay. That is a beautiful ace. Remember, aces are gifts from divine. And eight of pentacles, which is where you're learning new things, new skills, and polishing your abilities to create more abundance. So it's all looking pretty peachy here in near future. Walking away from what no longer serves you, that means you may be uh, packing and moving. It means you may be working at a whole new location. Um, it is the energy of letting go of what doesn't work. Resurrection. So here's your energy of feeling like you've been literally chewed up and spit out. <laughs> and there's the resurrection energy of the judgment card bringing you the beautiful Archangel Gabriel to restore and renew you and bring you back to wholeness. The Ace of Cups. Uh, the, you've got the beautiful Ace of Cups is the energy of a gift from divine. This is the seal of approval from the universe saying that you have the power to create anything you desire because they're giving you every single ingredient of every piece of DNA that ever has or will exist. So that is a divine blessing. And what is happening? That cup is being offered to you. So beautiful energy as this comes in. Remember, vet it before you say no. <laughs> you don't have to worry about this little circle because this one is the wheel of fortune. <laughs> So you don't have to, you're not going to be chasing your tail. You're going to be catapulted into your destiny. A, this is the Roman numeral 10. So you're in another 10 energy. And it's the energy of releasing all things that have held you back. This is the clearing of all red lights turning green. All doors opening. Even doors you didn't see previously. And all the beautiful energy that's been held back is now propelling you forward past where you could have gone. Had you been able to even do it on your own. So this is sometimes timing's everything. When you draw an arrow backwards, it goes forward a whole lot faster the further back you draw it, right? So allow yourself to move with the divine. It's moving for you. So keep your focus. Don't let yourself get too exhausted. And be happy that all things are working out here in this beautiful energy. I send you lots of love. Lots of light. Keep your focus, my darlings. You're on the. You're on it. You're right there on it. I'll talk to you on. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you on Wednesday. I don't know why I said that, but okay, that's for somebody. Somebody's waiting for a phone call. 
that let's see what happens on Wednesday. <laughs> Whatever this thing is here, somebody's getting the notification on Wednesday. Hmm. So many blessings to you, and I will talk to you again in August. Love, light, peace, happiness, joy, and divine abundance to you all. Namaste, my friends.